Evening everyone, today I am going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu 11.04 on an external USB hard drive. Now the procedure for doing for installing Ubuntu 11.04 on a USB hard disk is very similar to installing it on a second internal hard drive. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do to start the installation would be to boot the CD or the USB hard um, the USB flash drive that you insert into your computer. Now in order to do this you're going to have to access the boot menu on your computer by, by pressing either F2, delete, or F12 uh, or maybe another um, keyboard combination that I am not familiar with uh, because the fact that all computers are different and the BIOS access um, buttons are different for every computer manufacturer. On my computer it's F12 which mine is a Dell. So once you get to the boot menu, you're going to want to select uh, the either the CD or the USB flash drive that you um, insert into the computer. And once that once you let that boot up into the welcome screen, you're going to want to select install Ubuntu, and that will get you to the install screen that I am on right now. So, <clears throat> if you've installed Ubuntu before, you're familiar with the installation process. But if you're not, uh, let me just let you know as far as your, the newbies who are watching this that it is very easy to install Ubuntu. It's one of the easiest distributions to install on a computer in far, as far as my experience. So my main language is English so I'm going to want to select that and click forward. And it might take a couple of seconds because I'm in a virtual machine doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and click forward. Okay. And what you're going to do, instead of selecting install Ubuntu alongside Microsoft Windows XP or whatever uh, version of Windows you're running it on, or if you're running Linux, which is perfectly fine as well, uh, I'm going to want to select select something else. What you're going to select here is slash dev slash sdb or whatever other, whatever the the, the hard drive is for your external hard drive and you want to make sure that this is not going to mess up you want to make sure that you got the right hard drive and let me repeat make sure you select the right hard drive because if you select the wrong hard drive you're going to lose whatever operating system you have installed on that on your main machine so I'm going to select dev um, forward slash dev forward slash sdb because that is my external hard drive I'm going to select new partition table Actually, no. Actually, let me take that back. No. I'm going to want to. I'm going to want to. Instead of selecting this install now, you're going to want to make sure you install. You select install the boot bootloader installation on the the external hard drive because otherwise it will install it on the main hard drive and you will have the grub bootloader on Windows XP, which you don't want that because you want this to be more or less a painless installation of Win of uh, Ubuntu for the fact that you don't have to worry about bootloader configuration and all that. All you have to do if you do not want Ubuntu is just unplug the, unplug the USB hard drive and it's gone. So I'm going like, to select <coughs> ATA VBox hard disk because I'm in a virtual machine. If you want to make sure you select the hard drive that has the, the sizing that is your external hard drive. Select new partition table after you select forward slash dev, forward slash stb, click continue, okay, once you get, once you get past the part of adding the new partition table to your external hard drive, you're going to want to select add, and go ahead and, and just leave it, just, just leave it at the default, so that's going to just be easier to do. I'm not going to get extremely technical in this video. And once that's done, go ahead and select Install Now.
and just go ahead and let it install. I am in the Eastern Time Zone. And I'm actually in I'm actually near Tampa, Florida, so I'm going to select that. Okay, keyboard layout, pretty much self-explanatory. I'm in the USA. I use the USA keyboard. You can test if you want. And it works fine. Select forward. Name. And it's going to ask you if you want to import any accounts from other operating systems. I'm not going to. If you want to, you can, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip this part since this is a fresh new installation. And we're now just going to wait until the installation is complete. So I will see you in a few minutes. Okay, and now the installation is complete. So you're going to want to go ahead and restart the computer. Click restart now and let the computer reboot. So now you're going to want to go ahead and select the boot menu when the computer reboots. And you're going to want to go ahead and select the external hard drive. And it will boot into Ubuntu 11.04. And of course, since I'm running a virtual machine, I do not have the hardware required to run Unity. So I'll go ahead and run Ubuntu Classic, which is not a big disappointment to me anyhow. And there you go. I am at the Ubuntu desktop. And just to prove to you that it did not mess up Windows, I will go ahead and restart the computer. And boot into Windows, and we'll see what happens. And there you go, no grub boot menu which is what you would see if you did a real dual boot, dual boot between Windows and Linux or any other operating system for that manner. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. Please comment and subscribe if you like this. And please uh, just go ahead and if you have any suggestions for the, any videos, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful night.